Crawford with a quick counter attack para sa Lemados. That's poor uh, uh, defense on the part of San Miguel. You know, the transition defense not coming back quick enough. Arwin Santos has the ball over to Yo. Joseph Yo fires a three. Oh, whoa, I thought he was off the mark. <laughs> but somehow that ball found its way to the hoop. Remember when he played for Santa Lucia and then Coca-Cola, you know, Joseph would just come up with shots so that you don't know where it came from and he'd make it. Huh? So now it's a five-point lead for San Miguel, their biggest lead of the game. It's been that close. Artadi for three. No go. Matagal na rin nakaupo dito si James Shea by this ball game. Here's Yo. He'll go all the way in. Raffer Evis says, no, no, no sir. No. Better luck next time. <laughs> I don't know what Meyerhofer was doing. I don't know if he was checking on Yo, if he was okay. O pinagmumukha niya kay Yo, nasa'y napalpal ni Raffer Evis. Yeah. Do that somewhere else. <laughs> but they, they used to be teammates, so all the uh, done in the uh, spirit of competition. Meantime, is Yo. Hounded by Artadi, Yo gets away, but he loses the ball. Artadi is on the move. Bothered by Arwin Santos, is James Yap back in the game. Wash him. Yap. James Yap for three. Yeah. No go. We oh, actually felt this, this, the Astrodome. Yeah, they buzzing were. with excitement upon the release of that jump shot by James Yap. Mukhang babalik niya ata si Ontiveros. Yeah, they were uwing and eyeing nung pinitawa ni James yung kanyang tira. Santos, yo, shot lock down to four. Rasela to Freeman. Freeman baseline. But despite that miss, Freeman has been playing well. Para sa San Miguel is in double figures already. Over eight minutes to go in a frenetic first half. Washam. Artadi, shot lock down to six. And a clear offensive foul against Paul Artadi. Sending Olsen Resella to the floor. And we see the return of Dondon Ontiveros. So it's Resella, Ontiveros in the backcourt. Danny I, Arwin Santos, Freeman, the front line. Para sa San Miguel. They're on top by five. Ontiveros, Santos, Dondon, takes. Daddy I, baseline try, and it's short. And there's Freeman again. Gabe Freeman has been a great source of energy, and he has just given San Miguel a seven point lead. Eight four. Kung sakaling kakauwi nyo lang, you look at the first commissioner, Sunny Barrios with? The mayor of Pasay, uh, I think Tony yata ang kanyang first name, Calixto. Pero alam ko, sigurado ko Calixto, I'm not sure. Uh, for, forgive me if I made a mistake. Just make sure you get the mayor part correct. Yeah, I, 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 I saw him come in just before the start of the second game, obviously from work. And I understand that the commissioner, the deputy commissioner, uh, Chief, uh, salute Chito at saka si uh, Willie Marshall paid the courtesy call to the mayor earlier this afternoon about 2 o'clock Sabi ko nga Willie, ba't isang ano? <laughs> because he's the media bureau chief Ah, okay, okay Dapat, eh, dapat na, na, Tanong lang naman ako oh, Wala naman akong masamang <laughs> ibig sabihin doon By the way, Hades is the official underwear of the PBA You know, this, of course, the city, Pasay City this venue and the history of the PBA, that's, that's linked. It's linked forever. So many classic games played here in the city. Championships have been won. Hearts have been broken. Yeah. Legacies have been cemented. Now that is really you know, my all-time buddy. He calls me buddy and I call him buddy. Uh, we go a long way. Actually, he was my statistician <laughs> about 1986. He wrote the book on how to shut down statistics in the PBA. With my help, of course. Of course. I never got I never got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's James Yap with the basketball. James Yap gets away. No! James has had some great opportunities to score and lower down the San Miguel lead. Canaletta now picking up uh, Jay Washington. Roger Yap continues to pick up Freeman. 
Here's Washington outside on Tiberos for three. Yes, sir! Oh, trouble now. You know, they're breaking that zone with that extra pass and then the penetration and then the kick out. You know, so that leaves that open man sh uh, three point shooter open. So that's trouble if they start to fall because now it's a 10 point advantage for San Miguel. Washington, Canaletta, Canaletta against Freeman. And Freeman swipes that ball away. And it will be San Miguel basketball with 6 and 31 remaining in the second period. I like the fact that the referees here make a call. And I think he was correct, but that ball did hit the foot of a B made player before going out. Freeman now getting a rest. Danny Ilofonso back into the ball game. Peña has not seen action. Nick Benici has not seen action. Danny Siegel has not seen action. Here's Olsen. And now Danny I. And a steal. Roger up on the move. He steps on the gas. He's going all the way. No! Oh, he may missing some layups here in the first half. Wash them, fix. Wash them, fire. No go. Let's go to Leah Cruz. Thanks, Miko. Now, you were asking about Dondo and Monteveros earlier. Actually, they will use him sparingly today as needed because he's actually suffering from a very mild groin injury. Now, other things on Coach Shaw Tumkinson's checklist for today, they really have to come out and play with energy and intensity, especially against BMEG. And they have been the most turnover-prone team in the semis, so today they have to take care of the ball. Miko and Dr. J. So, yeah, alam natin ang kondisyon ni Dondo. And we're looking at him now. Uh, may ika nga ng konti, you know? may iniinda itong si Don, and it's quite obvious. So according to uh, Leah's uh, intel, uh, Don Don will be used sparingly as needed. James Yap meantime makes the basket. The technical foul yep. called against Daniel Defonso for continuous complaining. And now he's been replaced here by Dorian Peña seeing action for the first time. That stops the bleeding there for the uh, Yamados. They've been nailed to 20 points for quite a while. Monteveros over James Yap. And a rebound for Roger Yap. Play about Pasana and Dorian Peña. And here's Canaleta for three. Rebound Peña. Counter attack by the Beermen. They're on top by nine points. This is where you like the captain, Olsen Resella, the point guard, asking everybody to go to their places so we can have the right formation in the passing. But a miscue there on the uh, bounce pass to Arwin Santos results in another turnover. Very low scoring ball game. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Olsen almost. And Roger Yap has the ball right now as we near the five minute mark of the second quarter. Here's Canaletta. Canaletta will try again. And no! <laughs> that, ball, that ball has been tickled for the Yamados on that side. Huh? Well, I, 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 you know, I have to agree. I mean, they missed a number of layups already. That shot was almost going in, but at the last minute decided to go out. Two, Two free throws, huh? Masarap po tuusan si Lia, ginagawa niya kaagad. No, wala na. No, she's on the other side. Kasi pinaputangan natin doon sa San Miguel San. Oo nga pala. But of course, Lia will be covering both teams here. Yes. Just as in the first game, kasama mo si Jason. Bukang yung araw, partner. It's the PBA semifinals. Yeah. I want one tile. Four to fifteen remaining. At uh, Lamang Ang San Miguel 3021 back in the morning. Very evident, if not uh, playing against BMEG. You have to come in with a lot of energy. It's maraming games in the world. The energetics is home built. Nothing is going to be given to you. You have to go after it, basically. Well, Sean Takitzen has a very good point. You know, when, you, when you look at BMEG Derby Ace and how they've won games, how they made it all the way here to the semis, and they did it a lot because of their energy. Yeah, you know, and they're also a team that has learned how to win. First of all, the 